Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I've been a CPA for 28 years. Today, I want to teach you how to customize your dashboard and QuickBooks online. So let's get started. So as we customize these dashboards, you need to understand this is only your view. So your user login. If there's other users that can log in under their own usernames, this does not affect them whatsoever. We're only customizing your personal views within QuickBooks Online. So there's two areas that we can customize. The first is going to be the left menu bar, and the second will be our business overview. So let's go to our menu bar customization. So unfortunately, it's not as simple as simply clicking on any of the items and dragging them around. So we're not allowed to do that. We need to go down here to our menu settings, click on that, and then click on customize this menu. That's going to open up this box where we can select or deselect certain items and then move the order of them. So let's zoom into that box. So let's say I'm not very heavily involved in payroll or I have nothing to do with payroll. I can deselect payroll and that'll take it off of my menu. Um, also, let's say I'm heavily involved with customers. I can select customers and I can drag it up higher in the menu. Pretty basic. Um, in the sections tab here, there's only two sections on your left menu bar, defaults and the actual menu. So if you want to, to flip flop the order of those two, you certainly can do that. And then within the bookmarks bar, um, you can add or subtract anything that you have booked. Okay, so let's hit save. And now we can look at our left menu bar and we can see that it's changed. Our customers and leads has been moved towards the top and the payroll is no longer. Okay, so uh, I wanna flip it back to what it originally was. And so I'm gonna go to menu settings again, customize this menu and reset to default menu. Click save and it goes back to the QuickBooks default. So that's nice in case you just, you're experimenting and you really mess something up and you kind of lose one of the tiles you want and you're lost a little bit, you can always just reset it to its original uh, status. Okay. That's the left menu bar. Second thing I want to show you is how to customize the dashboard. And so under menu here, let's go to dashboards and to getting things done. So this first tab, there's really nothing we can customize other than we can use this privacy toggle. So when you toggle the privacy on, it basically just blanks out all the financial information on your screen. That privacy button works for both the get things done tab and the business view tab. So this doesn't hide anything from other users of QuickBooks. It simply just, it simply locks your screen without the financial information visible. Uh, it's just a temporary thing. So if you have somebody looking over your shoulder or you're in a, in a place where people can be walking behind you and you don't want them to see all the financial information, you can turn on this privacy button. Again, nothing permanent, doesn't hide it from other QuickBooks users. So let's flip that back off. Okay, in our business overview, we can arrange these widgets, or I like to call them tiles in whatever order we want. But in order to do that, we need to first click this customize layout button. Now they turn green and we can drag them wherever we want them. Okay, to select and deselect which widgets or tiles we wanna see, we have to go over here to our add remove widgets. And here we can place check marks next to whichever widgets we want and uncheck whichever widgets we don't want pretty basic. You can save that. Okay. Similar to the left menu bar, if we mess things up and we just want to go back to the original layout, we can hit reset layout and it'll do that. Okay. When you're done customizing your dashboard, you can click done and there we go. We've customized our dashboard. So those are the two main areas you can customize your left menu bar and your business overview. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please visit our other 55 free QuickBooks tutorials by visiting fitsmallbusiness.com backslash free QuickBooks online tutorials. I'll also throw a link to that below this video in YouTube. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do have a ton of great QuickBooks materials available for you. Again, my name was Tim Yoder, and I look forward to seeing you again in our next QuickBooks online tutorial.